Well, we had a baby dedication last week, and we're going to have a baby dedication this week. And the Graham family's going to come, and I want them to turn around and face you all so that you can see little Catherine. And uh, we're going to have a dedication. They're better looking than I am anyway, and so having them, having them face the congregation is better, right? Matthew tells us in Matthew chapter 19, Then were brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands upon them and pray. And his disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Suffer the little children, and forbid them not to come to me, for if such is the kingdom of heaven. Then it tells us that he laid his hands upon them. Andrew and Lisa, by presenting your little daughter to the Lord for dedication today, you are testifying to your own faith in Jesus Christ and your desire as her parents that Catherine would understand from her smallest beginnings what it means to walk in the ways of Jesus and to entrust her life to God. And so a dedication is an indication of your prayer and desire that Catherine would live her life as a Christian. And to move towards this beautiful goal, you have some responsibilities as parents. You must teach her to trust and honor God in all that she does. You must guide her education so that she can become a blessing to the world. You must instruct her in the scriptures and how to live them out. You must help her to connect with the body of Christ. You must discipline her gently and faithfully, guiding her away from harmful habits and influences that exist. But above these, you have two primary responsibilities as her parents. First of all, you have the responsibility of being an example to her. Doctor, you are going to be the one that she looks to for counsel. She's going to be the one, you're going to be the one that she looks to for guidance. You're going to be the one that she comes to when life seems to come in like a flood. And I challenge you to make sure that you point her to Christ. Make sure that your example is one that she can follow. Make sure that your life is lived in such a way that there's no doubt who you love and who you serve. May you be that kind of example to her and for her. Lisa, she's going to come look to mama to be the one that kisses those bumps and bruises. She's going to be coming to you for guidance and instruction. She'll come to you for counsel and she'll come to you for guidance and she'll come to you with those hard questions in life that sometimes we as parents say, oh man, I don't know the answer to that. But I believe that God is big enough in those moments to give us those answers and give us the appropriate response. And so I challenge you, Lisa, make sure that you live in such a way that when she comes to you, that there's no doubt where mom's allegiance is. Make sure there's no doubt that you love the Lord Jesus and that it's your greatest desire to serve him. Make sure that you set an example for her to follow. Brothers and sisters, you've got a great family. And it's wonderful to see a family like this uh, dedicated to Christian education and, and serving the Lord. But brothers and sisters, I want you to know that Catherine's going to be watching you. She's going to be following in your footsteps and she's going to be hanging out around you and aggravating you and doing all the things that little ones do. But I want to encourage you. Make sure that you point her to Jesus as well. Make sure that you set an example that she can follow. Make sure that she finds in you an inspiration to live close to the Lord Jesus Christ. You have a responsibility to be an example to her. But not only do you have the, the responsibility to be an example, you have the responsibility to love her. In this world of chaos and calamity, in this world where it seems like love is, is a foreign thing, we don't understand it, it seems, in our world, I want us, 
as a congregation in a minute, but I want you as a family to understand that as you love her appropriately and as you love her from a biblical point of view, you will teach her about a God in heaven who loves her. A God in heaven who loved enough to send his son to die for her. And so I challenge you as, as a family, I challenge you as a dad, Andrew, make sure that you love her in that way. Lisa, make sure you love her in that way. And kids... Make sure you love her in that way. Church, we have a responsibility as well. A responsibility that I share with you every single time I do a dedication. And that's the responsibility of being an example for little Catherine as well. They have chosen to make Hope Sound Bible Church their home church. And with that comes a responsibility from our perspective that we are to be the example for her. She'll be sitting in some of our Sunday school classes and she'll be hearing from you and she will be watching your life. In fact, she'll watch your interactions with mom and dad as well. I challenge you as a congregation, make sure that you live in such a way that when she, uh, when she sees how you interact, that she's attracted to the things of God. Friends, I don't believe for a moment that we have any children who are throwaway children. I don't believe for a moment that we, we can uh, abdicate our responsibility on any front to providing an atmosphere, a wholesome atmosphere, where our children can, uh, can see the light of Jesus and be attracted to that. And so I challenge you as a congregation, make sure that you set an example before her to love as you should love. What was that discipline part, Dr. Graham? <laughs> he just wants to preach. That's okay. We have an escapee on the loose. All right. The second, the second responsibility that we have is that, uh, is that we love. Show the example of love to this family. Show the example of Jesus' love for you and demonstrate that in the way that you live your life so that we can be a beacon of hope and a beacon of light for little Catherine. I challenge you, set that kind of example before him. Scripture tells us that Jesus then took little ones up in his arms and he prayed for them. And so we want to do that this morning. I want to hold little Catherine. She's a live wire. And uh, we want to pray that the Lord will uh, bless and help her life. She didn't know about this. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the little gift of life that we hold in our hands right now. What a precious gift. And Lord, this little bundle of joy and happiness is going to grow up. And she's going to come to the point where she makes a conscience decision to follow you or reject you. And Lord, it's our greatest desire that she would choose to follow you. And that's why we're here right now, dedicating her in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray that you'd overshadow her life. We pray that you'd help mom and dad and brothers and sisters and this church family to be an influence for God and good in her life. I pray, Lord, that you would help us to be that beacon of, of hope that Christ came to die on the cross for the world, but he also came for Catherine. And we're so glad for that. Bless and help her, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. It appears that Catherine is not the only live wire in that family. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the Grams. Thank the Lord for our families and their contribution to our church. And amen.